Salut, David Allman here. You might not know this, but about, oh, probably about 15 years ago, before I moved to the States when I was still living in France, I used to be endorsed by Ibanez guitars, and back then I just played Ibanez. Anyways, I went to the guitar store. What do you have? He showed me a bunch of different things, and then I tried this Ibanez guitar. I fell in love. I really fell in love with Ibanez guitars. I'm trying to find which model this is. I buy a guitar, I don't even know which model it is. But that should tell you something. You shouldn't necessarily go with the model or the specs or anything like that. You should go with what feels good and this feels good. Let me check online what I bought. This is an Ibanez RG920. It has a Nedge 02 bridge. I don't know if that tells you something. It doesn't tell me anything. All I know is that this thing really stays in tune when you play it. Uh, quick access in the back if you want to do your settings here. Two humbuckers and these are DiMaggio. The Marzio humbuckers they were made for Ibanez. So you might ask, why did I get this when I have a Parker, a Parker Nightfly? It's true that the Parker Nightfly is one of the easiest guitars that I've ever played in, in terms of comfort. But, you know, being endorsed by DiMaggio, I get a lot of different pickups to try. And I found that after trying a bunch of different pickups, changing pickups in my Parker, the Parker just doesn't give justice to the pickups. The Parker, that I have, the Nightfly is very dull sounding and it's probably due to the wood that is used and so I can really get the difference in tone between one pickup and the other. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted to get this because um, as you will see, there is a big difference in the pickups and I know that changing the pickups will really give me the color of the pickups and it's not gonna be colored too much by the tone of the guitar or the lack of character of the guitar, I should say. These guitars are advertised as the working musician's guitars. They're supposed to be very versatile in a lot of different styles, which is another reason I picked this. It is quite versatile. It doesn't only do shred, it can do anything. I got this for a really good deal at uh, Spotlight Music here in Fort Collins. It was originally priced at 800 something, went down to 700 something, and then I got this for $666. That, yeah, that's why I paid for it. Love it. You'll be seeing this a lot more in the future videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Until then, salut.